Hopes that Daniel Ricciardo could return to F1 have come true. The Australian took the third driver role at Red Bull in the hope it could deliver a pathway back to the Formula One grid. And it's a move that has paid off in sensational fashion as he jumps in at Alpha Tauri mid-season to replace Nick de Vries. Red Bull fought off competition from Williams and Alpine to sign de Vries at Alpha Tauri, following his impressive drive to points at Monza on his debut as a stand-in for Alex Albon when he fell ill last year. They expected big things from the former F2 and Formula E champion. However, he has struggled to adapt to life in Formula One and has been outperformed by teammate Yuki Tsunoda in the opening 10 races. Dr. Helmut Marko gave de Vries a number of warnings over the last two months, demanding that he upped his game if he wanted to keep his seat for the remainder of the season. But that hasn't happened, with the Dutchman having only finished ahead of Sonoda in two of the ten races so far. Red Bull are not afraid to move drivers on. Just ask Pierre Gasly, Alex Albon, Daniel Fiat and Brendan Hartley. That list now includes de Vries. When Red Bull signed Ricardo as third driver for this season, it made sense on a number of levels. He's a marketeer's dream and a mighty fine racing driver. By having Ricardo on the roster, it would keep Sergio Perez on his toes at Red Bull alongside Max Verstappen. After readjusting to the Red Bull outfit's nuances, he's become ruthlessly efficient in the simulator, impressing everyone with his efforts. So Red Bull knew if they needed a driver to step in, either at Red Bull or Alpha Tauri as a one-off, he was ready to hit the ground running. Red Bull approached Ricardo and asked if he would step in mid-season. Ricardo's preference, sources say, was to join the team next year so he could get a full pre-season under his belt and race a car that is going to have a much closer collaboration with the class-leading Red Bull team that should drastically improve their performance. If Ricardo didn't accept a mid-season seat at Alpha Tauri, it's likely Red Bull would have drafted in Liam Lawson. If the Super Formula racer then delivered the goods, it would have shut the door on Ricardo's ideal scenario of joining the team in 2024. So over the course of the British Grand Prix weekend, he and his management came to an arrangement. It's going to be a huge challenge for Ricardo to come in cold, but crucially, he has got his confidence back. He has accepted that his time at McLaren was just a blip. He hasn't lost his talent, it was just that McLaren wasn't the place where he could unleash it. Now in the Red Bull family, Ricardo feels at home, having spent so much of his career there. These are the conditions where he knows he can thrive. He joins Alpha Tauri knowing that if he can have a strong season this year, outperforming Sonoda and Perez continues to struggle, there's the prospect of a remarkable return to Red Bull in 2024 or beyond.